in today's video, we are in Taipei, Taiwan, about to go to one of the most popular seafood markets that they have to offer, and it's right behind me. It's called Addiction Aquatic Development, and it's supposed to be super amazing. In fact, like on Google reviews, they have over 40,000 reviews. How crazy is that? From freshly caught seafood to a hot pot area, or even this charcoal grill, they have it all. This is one spot you definitely gotta visit. But with that being said, I'm getting hungry. Let's go check it out. All right, so apparently we're not allowed to film in here. So just like the 7-Eleven video, we're gonna have to ninja our way around and do some sneaky type of videos. So I hope we don't get caught. Whoa, just look at this huge array of crabs inside of this box. Upon coming in here, notice that there's a wider range of freshly caught seafood. All the fish is swimming around. You got lobster, crabs, hairy crabs, and so much more. Oh, this place looks absolutely beautiful. Like, look at all these seafood. Oh, man. And the lobster and crabs. But even all the beautiful uni that's being on display. They even have this type of fish. I don't know what it's called, but it is flat. So, so flat. And they also have lobster, too. Some more crabs over here. Oh, man. They have it all. Moving along further into the store, we come to the market area where, as you can see, there's so many interesting items. For instance, look at how big this market is. There's so many different areas. You got a seafood bar, sushi bar, butcher, kitchen, and so much more. For instance, on the left side of the frozen aisle, you see a whole bunch of meat, some fish as well. You also got more seafood over here and beef too. I think it's a mixture of both. And you also got your hot pot area. Look at this big, gigantic bag for hot pot. Oh, you got some other interesting things as well, like these over here. Oh man, I don't know what they are, but they look interesting. And I think these are scallops too, baby scallops or something. That looks cool. Got some more high grade quality beef over here. Oh man, these are all so delicious. Look at how beautiful they are. Whoa, look at this. Look at all these sushi. Oh man, whoa, uni. Some fish over here. You got scallops over here, a whole bunch of sushi too. Different assortments down here. More scallops. You got dongberries down here. Oh man, whoa, that looks premium. That looks good. Want to see something interesting? Look at these grapes. These grapes are from Japan. $1,006, that's over $33 for one box of grapes. Oh man, these peaches are also super expensive. Like, look at that, $2,000? That's over $60 for peaches. Oh, because I got some cooked foods over here like abalone and shrimp. Oh man, that looks beautiful. I might get one of these. More shrimps over here. Look at these seafoods on display. Like, look at that abalone. Look at how big that is. You got shrimp over here, crabs too. Look at this crab, oh man. They also have a produce area where you can see you got some fruits over here, some melons, some watermelons, dragon fruits, orange, avocados, and so much more. Look at this, spot prawns, oh wow. Premium fatty tuna belly, supreme tuna belly, yellowtail belly, yellowtail, and salmon belly. Oh man, and the sushi just keeps going on. Look at all these sushi over here. That is simply amazing. Oh man, the seafood just keeps piling on and on. For instance, look at this. Lobster and crab, more crab, a loaf of bread, we don't care about that. You got squid over here, snails, abalone, and this gigantic, look at how big this abalone is. Oh wow. You got this, I don't know what this is. Some more clams and some over there too. Wow, that looks good. Moving along, you got many more fruits like pineapples, apples, guavas, pears, berries, eggplants, I think, and so much more. Like, look at all these produce. And it just continues and goes on and on. Like, look at this, all these fresh uni over here. Oh man, that is beautiful. Different varieties too. You got some more sushi or seafood down here. You got beautiful scallops, some prawns over here. And look at this assorted sashimi set. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. That is just amazing. 
like look at this it just keeps going on and on they got many different varieties like this i don't know what this is but this looks absolutely beautiful we also got some nigiri sets as well look at all these different types of fish on the nigiri and if you like salmon this one's for you oh this is absolutely amazing look all these types of fish over here wow you even got some rice bowls over here look at how beautiful these rice bowls are whoa some squid over here i think that's squid oh they even have half a lobster with the roll inside too oh that is beautiful you also got crabs over here the crab legs oh so amazing but this is what i'm talking about look at these all the crab innards and guts oh that is what i'm here for this is i need one of this oh look we found another fruit that's super expensive like look at this 1145 so that's a little over 35 dollars i think pretty pricey just for this melon oh oh and there's also a restaurant here too let's go check it out so i just entered the restaurant i have to say the entire place is actually pretty nice it's the standy only room where you can order all kinds of types of seafood like nigiri sashimi and so much more and from the look of the menu, they have quite a few different options. For me, I'm up for the nigiri set because I like nigiri. And we'll see how it goes. Once you go in the restaurant, you'll be given a napkin. As you can see, the wet napkin that you could clean your hands. Pretty cool. So I just placed my order. I have to say, look at this sushi set. Oh, this is amazing. I don't even know which one's which. I know some is tuna, some is salmon, tamago, scallops, some more. But oh, this is beautiful. And guess what? It only costs 680 Taiwanese dollars. That is insanely cheap. Oh, let's just get started. I don't know which one to start with first. Let's start with the salmon nigiri, as you can see. Nice, beautiful salmon. I don't know what this is, but let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, that salmon sashimi is absolutely super fresh, super clean. You don't even taste the ocean. Whoa. And the cream on top of the nice, creamy, rich sensation. Very, very good. Oh, that was a good piece of salmon nigiri. Next up, we also got the, I think this is tuna. I'm pretty sure this is tuna. I don't know what part of the fish it's from, but it looks pretty good. Let's do it a bite. Mm. Oh, so, so buttery. That tuna literally melts in your mouth the minute you put it in. Oh, absolutely fantastic. And best part about it is that I really love the nigiri and sushis here because they give such a huge portion. Like, look at how big this piece is compared to the rice. This is a good, generous amount of fish. Absolutely delicious. I think this is the same portion of fish that we just ate, the tuna. Uh, I think so. Let's give it a try. Mm. So, so good. Mm. We also got these little things. I don't know what they are. Some type of rolls. Um, I think it's salmon on the inside. It looks like salmon. I don't know. But it looks good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was so good. You can definitely tell that seaweed is fresh from the ocean. Super crispy. Like literally, the minute you bite into it, crunch after crunch. Rice, nice, vinegary, really good flavor. But it's all about the fish. I think it's a salmon on the inside. So buttery, so soft. Absolutely my favorite piece yet. And we also got these scallops over here. We can't forget about them. As you know, I love scallops. And just look at this. Look at how beautiful these scallops are. Oh, is there anything on the bottom? There's a little bit of wasabi inside. Let's give it a try. Mm. So good. Oh man, I don't know if you guys have ever had fresh scallops before, but if you ever do try fresh scallops, you know, it is out of this world. Almost kind of jelly-like, yet a little bit chewy, a little bit bouncy, but very, very clean and fresh. Oh, this is a very good spot to visit. Not only that, but we also have this gigantic piece of eel. I mean, just look at this. Look at how big this eel is. Like, eel to rice ratio, absolutely phenomenal. They just think this towers over the rice. Oh, I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this. Um, I just give it a bite. Mm. Mmm, that is good. I never had ear like this ever in my life, and this thing is just so soft, so tender, very juicy and moist. I think they added a little bit of soy sauce too, so like I get a little bit of soy sensation. Absolutely delicious. This is one thing you definitely gotta try. Mmm, oh, right. Mmm, so, so good. And not only that, when you order the deluxe nigiri set, you also get a side of miso soup as well. And look at this gigantic bowl of miso soup. Oh, 
I don't even know how I'm gonna finish this. Like, look at this gigantic bowl. Oh, it smells so fresh. I, I see tofu, I see seaweed, I see chives and more. And there's even a gigantic piece of fish in here as well too. Oh man. Oh, that is good. That has some strong, rich miso flavor. Very, very delicate and gentle. Absolutely amazing. Whoa. All right, just finished eating from that sushi restaurant. I have to say that was absolutely really delicious. But I'm still hungry, so let's go look for more food. And in case you're wondering, they also have cooked foods as well. Like look at these, all of these are cooked foods. Cold, but needs to be reheated up, but still pretty good. We got some pork down here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Some cooked sushi rolls, like pork sloth, imitation crab and more. I think that's ham, I'm not sure what that is. You got some ceviche or something. And the list just goes on and on like, I don't know what this is, but this is interesting. Some type of soup maybe or something. I don't know, I see like shrimp and that's about all I see. You also got some desserts over here like cakes, rolls and more. Oh, I think that's a cheesecake over there, not sure. You got some tiny little pudding cups, cakes. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but that's just interesting. You also have some cooked food over here, like this is a seafood. I think this is some type of pork or something. This is chicken right here. They got a whole bunch of different varieties of cooked food. So even if you don't eat seafood, you still have your whole bunch of selection to choose from. They also have some cooked rice like over here. This one is fish and chestnut. Over here, I don't know if the sign's blocking it, but some type of steamed rice. They also got a whole bunch of soups down here. And look, more cooked foods. Oh man, these look good. Oh, I want some, especially the shrimp. Look at how big these shrimps are. Oh, that is beautiful. You got some fish down there. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, found a nice little juice area. We might get some juice. Let's see what they have. They got pineapple apple, sun-kissed, cantaloupe apple, papaya, grapefruit, pumpkin milk, sweet potato. Oh, wow. Oh, this look interesting. I don't know which one I want. Maybe I'll get the pineapple apple. Yep. Let's give that a try. All right, just got my drink made, so I decided to get the mango yogurt drink. It's a smoothie, and it's supposed to be really good. Plus, weather is super hot right now, so this should do the trick. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is good. You can definitely tell they use real mango in here. Although, I have to be honest, you don't taste the yogurt all that much, but just the mango itself being so ice cold, absolutely delicious. This is actually worth it. And oh! Apparently there's a barbecue place right in front of me. Oh, I wonder if they're open or not. Let me go check. So as you can see, this is the menu right here. They got a whole bunch of different varieties. They got seafood, they got meat, they got vegetables, rice, soup, and desserts. Oh, this looks good. And it's also pretty cheap too. Like, look at the prices. Oh, that's actually pretty affordable. Never mind. So I was informed that that barbecue place is actually closed for renovation. Y'all can probably hear the construction in the back. Not the bummer. I want to try it out. Oh. I don't know what else to eat. I'm, I'm still hungry. I don't know where to go. Um, I was roaming around to see what we can find. Well, I can't find what I want to eat, so I just went back to market and let's go back for some more sushi. This time around, let's try one of the pre-made sushi boxes. As you can see, this is pretty cheap. 490 for all of this? Yes, please. All right, just paid my food. I have to say, this looks absolutely delicious. This entire box is only 490 Taiwanese dollars. 490, that is incredibly cheap. And I think what I got is mostly a salmon set. I wanted a variety, but I didn't find any. But this one does look pretty good on its own. So let's fix up with chopsticks and let's start eating. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of salmon and giri. I think this is a different kind of salmon, probably the salmon belly or something. We got a tamago and some rolls as well. Oh, this looks so, so delicious. Let's try it out. Let's grab one of these. Now, I have to say, these or this box of sushi is located in the in the cool air or refrigerated section. So it's a little bit on the colder side. So it's probably been sitting there for a few hours or something, but hopefully it's still good. I mean, look at this. Look at how big the salmon piece is all compared to the rice. That's a good ratio. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, so delicious. Like even though the sushi box has been sitting in the refrigerated section for quite a while, it still tastes super fresh, super clean. Like that salmon literally melts in your mouth. It's so buttery, smooth, soft, and tender. Oh, 
that's a good piece of salmon. Plus it also has that, I think, mayonnaise on top with some type of cream on top. It gives it a nice rich and creamy sensation. Absolutely delicious. Oh, this is a good salmon nigiri. Next up, let's try the roll. As you can see, this is what the roll looks like. There's some fish eggs covering the rice, salmon over here. I think that's a cucumber. It's a pretty simple roll, but hopefully it tastes good. Mmm. Like you can definitely tell the fish has so much flavor to it, especially that rice. Oh, that rice with the fish eggs, absolutely amazing. The soft, fluffy, pillowy with the nice fish egg roll that pops in your mouth with each and every bite. Oh, that is a good bite. We also got this roll right here, which I'm not sure what it is. I, I've never seen it before. I think it's like, oh, so, huh. So it's kind of like an inverted sushi roll. Instead of the rice covering the fish, it's the fish covering the rice. That is interesting. So there's quite a bit of salmon. Look at how thick the salmon is. Oh man. But you got some fish roll right here. Oh, this looks beautiful. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. That is so good. Like that salmon stuff is literally, I said this multiple times already today, but it, it stands true to what it is. Like it literally melts in your mouth. So soft. Like the minute you put it in your mouth, it starts dissolving already. That's how soft it is. Like, oh. That is just pure goodness, oh man. Like even though there's rice in here, I have to be honest, you don't taste the rice all that much. It's mostly that salmon texture you're tasting and it's delicious. This is so good. Especially with the fish roll on top, the, the big fish roll that pops so, like I don't even know how to describe it, just pop, pop, pop. You get a nice breezy ocean flavor. Oh, this is good. And cut, and that's the video guys. We are just toward the amazing aquatic addiction development which is right behind me. I just saw this market was absolutely astonishing. There's just so much to see. From the fresh seafood, to the crab, to the lobster, all of which were caught this morning. Oh, now you know that's fresh. Not only that, we also visited the market, ate some food like that sushi spot we went to. That sushi spot was absolutely uh, unbelievable. Such a cheap price. Did y'all see that platter of huge variety of fish that we ate? Oh, such a good deal. Now, I did want to go to that barbecue spot, but unfortunately, they're under renovation, so we might have to go a different time. But we did manage to try the refrigerator section, and we got a nigiri set, which is still really good. Unbelievable for its price. Oh, man. If you guys are ever in the city of Taipei, Taiwan, definitely consider going to aquatic addiction development. You guys will absolutely love it. And that's basically the video. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you on the next Taiwan video.